Oh my god, that's insane! Wow! Got the turdo off. But this is what I was talking about. There's a little grommet back there. Something with the trans sensor. Probably a... I don't know. I don't know what exactly the sensor is, but I know that I need it out. So close I can taste it. I've got organized piles of shit. Uh, we took a starter out. Turbo downpipe. I love these PPE downpipes. Uh, ended up figuring out I could take out that whole wiring harness, which is nice. But I still got to get that rear downpipe off. Um, I think I'm still going to take off this exhaust manifold. It's got to come off at some point anyways. I've had the bolts soaked in rust penetrant for the last couple days. But uh, I actually need to jack up the car. I'm probably going to use right here. Jack up the car. Not lose that bolt. So I can get to that rear. And I also have to get the axle bracket for the passenger side. Because I know that we will fight that if uh, if I forget about that. So, axle, trans, torque converter bolts, engine mounts. I don't think there's much else left. Just kidding, there's eight. For some reason I was thinking there was only seven. And I was like, was I missing one? But no, there's, there's eight. Got an engine stand from Harbor Freight. And then, just so you know, there's a jack stand recall, but mine aren't a part of it. So, you know, just being extra careful, as usual. Got the wheel under there, I'm gonna put the jack back under, which is also Harbor Freight. But, um, I'm gonna PB Blaster some bolts back here on the downpipe. And then, Need to yank it out. So I took this out, the fender liner, so I could show you guys what's going on in here. There is a bracket from the axle to the engine itself that you have to take out. And then I got the downpipe bolts sprayed up for that to be taken off. And then that'll be it back here. But you got to make sure you take out that bracket because otherwise you're going to be fighting it forever because it's uh, basically held in by the axle at that point. Got the other downpipe out. Uh, I'll show you the kind of bullshittery I needed to get out one of the bolts. So giant ass extension to smaller extension to wobble socket to 15 mil. And that was uh, all to get that far side bolt out. Big old pain in the ass. And the bracket's almost out. And we got a Harbor Freight engine hoist from one of the neighbors. I got an awesome little uh, community of car and truck guys in my neighborhood. So I'm super thankful for them and when they can throw in a, an extra set of hands or a second set of eyes. Because it really makes a difference. She's ready. I gotta go to the store and get a couple more chain links. Because uh, we're having issues front and back. Can't really use any of the bolt holes on the side just because they're not really a, a, a good bolt size, according to my neighbor. So I'm not looking to you know, mess up a, a hole on the side of the block. I'll mess up holes all day long, just not on my block. So I'm gonna head to the store, get a few more these just removable links so we can kind of balance it out um, then I think I mean we prop it up do the trans case bolts and then the engine mount send it home wing brake it's all set up now
Now, to find all the trans bolts, engine mount should be easy peasy. Moment of truth! Uh, it's trying to stick in the converter. The hubbing bolts are out. Sticking on the converter? Mm -hmm. She's free! Oh man. Dude, that was a pain in the butt. But I, I guess we know now that we can we can probably take that off. Yeah. Because we took off this if, one. If this was the bolt that we had out earlier. The first yeah. one that we thought we missed. If that one would have came out, that bracket could have came out with it. Yeah. That's probably the case. Three. So, going back on, you can probably put that bracket onto it. <sighs> Sweet. What a mess. So we uh, didn't realize that there was a bracket from the PTU going to the back of the motor, but uh, this axle, I mean, well, yeah, the axle seal off the PTU has just been uh, shitting itself slowly, but I think it finally gave out. However, I got all the space in the world to replace that. But finally, Finally, we've got the motor out. The rear turbo's still on. I just sprayed this rust penetrant and got it up on the engine stand. But she is ready to be disassembled. She's a little top heavy right now. Otherwise, I'd turn it over and take off the oil pan. However, I think it'd be wise to get the heads off before I try and flip it over. So I'm going to take off valve covers. It's a little bit later in the night, but I'm kind of antsy to do something. So I'm going to take off the firewall side valve cover. This one was replaced with the updated one because I was having issues with the PCV. And I painted that one because that one was off and I never painted this one, but I've got all the gaskets and everything for that one. So I'm going to get it knocked out. Oh yeah, cams look good, tiny, but good. Ooh, got both turbos off now instead of just one. Both valve covers, I need to take off fuel lines and injectors. Um, all the front timing shit, need to get a pulley puller. Um, timing cover off, timing chain, all sorts of goodies. Well, five out of the six injectors came out with the rail, so I got that going for me. And then, got this opened up. I need to get a pulley puller so I can take off the crank pulley and then the front cover and then timing chains and all this stuff and a lot of fun coming. Well, it's approximately 15 seconds later and I've already made a giant fucking mess. <sighs> I guess I didn't realize it would proceed to dump out every little bit of coolant that it had. Oh, I was missing that bolt. Fucking shame on me. That was so obvious that that was gonna happen in that moment. But anyways, I got a buddy coming over and uh, we're gonna disassemble this engine. This one, it's a little uh, moist. Anyways, I think this is gonna be our problem cylinder. I think, I don't know why. Uh, it might have gotten more methanol than the rest of them. But it's kind of hard to tell at this point until we get the heads off. Oh, 
There's some stuff in there. Well, that's kind of what I was wondering. I mean, there's... Well, I guess I already loosened this a little bit, but yeah, it's pretty it. solid. With all the extra RTV, it's kind of weird. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It was probably done previously, but I'm going to take the tensioner off, chains off, cams out, heads up. So everything was going great until this guy decided he wanted to strip out and we can't get it. But everything else is just barely loosened. So that's marvelous. Just fucking marvelous. So we're gonna fuck with that for a while. See if we can get it out without damaging anything else. Already got a little nick right there. But good stuff. So we decided to work on the other side for now. Got cams out and head should be ready to come off just got to break each of these bolts Slide off just now. the whole fucking <laughs> just yagas onto the ground. How long is this bitch? Longer than any relationship I've ever had. <laughs> okay. A little coolant in there. Maybe that's why it broke. That's good. Nice. <laughs> oh, that 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 means it's close deck, right? Got some schmoops in that one. What the fuck is that? I don't know. <laughs> it's actually it's like some dirt. <laughs> Well, one's off. Oh, that's where I put that.
I'm not seeing any discoloration, like you said. Yeah. I mean, it was only run for a hot second afterwards. It didn't take super long before we got there. I mean, we can we can take all the pistons off. Different colors of the journals and everything. They don't. We'll see. What, what, what was the one that you were concerned for this one right here or this one? Uh, I'm not sure at this point, honestly. I think what? this one. Can I? You mind if I spin it? I mean, can you even? I don't think you can. <clears throat> not my hand now. Uh, let's just take it out. Put the crank bolt in real quick. Yeah. And then we'll turn it in my hand. Uh. We just want to undo them all. Punch them out. Well, yeah, we'll wait a second. I guess we can pull off the end caps. Yeah. We're just going to do this real quick and then we'll turn it. Let's go one way. It doesn't matter. We'll go back the other way. Should buy it out somewhere. It's getting tight right there. Yeah. Right there. Oh. Right there? Yeah, right there. See discoloration? There we go. Uh, yeah, she's a little blue. She's a little toasty. Yep. Mm -hmm. Probably ate that drush. Here, let's take off this uh, end cap. Yep. Ready? Hang on. Ooh, she crispy, boys. Oof. Yeah, it looks like it turned the bearing. I mean, she's... It looks like this side just got fuckered. Yeah. We want to push it out? We can. Hang on. Oh. You want to see Anthony? It's a bearing. On the other side. Ooh, okay. Yeah, that's the other. Okay. This one actually looks okay. The crank looks pretty good. On the side, but I mean, I think just kind of caught it yeah. ahead of time. I think just the bearing on the other side I just cooked her. was making some seem, noise. It just doesn't seem too horrible. We'll see what it looks like on the other side of this thing. Yeah. Um, need to mark all this stuff. Yeah. Alright. So, this one looks like it's in good shape. I want to see. Can you pull that bearing out? Flip it over. Yeah, she's crispy on that side too. A little crispy there. I too. think that's probably what was making all that noise. I'll pull off the rest of them, obviously. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Got all sorts of marks on it. So I was just going to time lapse that whole thing, but uh, we pulled out uh, another one right next to it. Did you guys notice any curvature or anything? A little, uh, here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pop out this bearing. Or try to at least. She's a little toasty. A little crispy down there. A little bent on the top. A little curvature never hurt anybody. Hey, girls always love it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Here, put it side by side. God, Jesus. Yeah, she's bent. She made some torque in that moment. She made contact. Oh, did she? She oh, touched Jesus. the crank. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. That's what that's the noise. Yep. That's your noise. Oh my gosh.
So crank should be ready. Pop it right out. There she blows. That's a heavy some bitch. Yeah, this is two piece. We're good. Yeah, that's what I figured. I mean, we got to make sure to put bearings with which. I mean, that's, that's normal. It seems like about every bearing has been fucked. Yeah, that seems about normal. Not horrible. We got everything out. Um, this boy is a little bendy compared to the rest of them, and it's actually got a couple cracked ring lands. But it seems like most of the bearings had damage to begin with. Grab the mag light. That's the second one. Which one I grabbed? The first. Okay. First one. That's the only bad thing about aluminum. They used to cast. I mean, nothing looks. Horrible. Looks pretty good. Just standard casting falls, and that's about it. Actually, looks good. So, I got everything kind of organized as far as front to back. The bearing, I mean, these, this just looks like it's been. Up here. Don't look bad. None of it catches fingernails, so yeah. Yeah. Well, this was the bad one, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. I think just a little rubble hone on it, and we should be good to go. We're gonna do a dingle ball Sender. home slap her back together. Yeah, dingleberry hone. We, I mean, you we'll just clear just clearance for that bendy rod. Yeah, we're using those head bolts, right? Yep. Okay. Oh my gosh, dude, look at it from this angle. <laughs> Damn, is that rowdy? Dude, <laughs> look at it from above. God. So, that's the teardown for you guys. Um, like I said, I'm going to take this off to the machine shop soon. Uh, it's Memorial Day coming Monday, so it'll probably be Tuesday before I can bring anything over there. But, uh, that's all of it. My entire uh, garage is filled with stuff. Crank looks, for the most part, pretty good. There's a couple heat spots, but we've got a different crank coming. Um, once the machine shop tells me what kind of uh, pistons and ring sizes we need, um, order those up and hopefully be back together in about a month. Me versus the guy she says not to worry about. Shut up. I might add that I've never done anything like this before, ever, but just kind of stand in here now after everything's been kind of completed. This rod is extremely bendy. The piston is cracked in a few spots on the ring lands. The block, however, is in pretty good shape. I think just a little bit of a hone and she'll be back to good. And then rotating assembly. The crank looks probably reusable. I'm not uh, an expert in any of this, so I'm just kind of pulling that out of my ass. Um, a lot of the bearings had some damage on them, but I don't know if that's just because of all the extra torque. It was just kind of tearing things up or that one piston could have kind of caused an imbalance or some uh, debris to cause that extra damage. But heads look okay. Whew. Just got everything everywhere. But let's take a seat and enjoy the view. So, uh, like I said, on Tuesday, I'm going to take this stuff over to the machine shop and. I'll update you guys then. So that was the cause of the uh, the engine failure. A little bit of a bent rod, bent 
rod and broken pistons. So, well, broken piston, I should say. But had some good buddies come over here. Thanks to Austin and Anthony for coming and helping you guys saw them on the time lapses and whatnot. But uh, this is going to be a long video. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.